Jackson, you got to let me borrow some money. My wallet is hurting and I cannot afford to take it to the hospital. And yet you can afford the dramatics. Hey, you, you paying attention. So the cycle continues. I kind of knew this was going to happen. So I came prepared. I'm a, I'm a let you borrow an investment. So like a stock? That is a very creative way of looking at it. Here you go. Jackson, this is a piece of paper with bullshit written on it. The bullshit is meant to be read, dumbass. I quit reading when I saw a job application on the top of the page. If you're too illiterate to read off of some paper, why would I give you any paper at all? Uh, for charity. You are currently alive right now, right? Yeah. Then that is my charity. You ain't give me life, you financial fuzzball. I gave you the ability to keep drawing breath on this earth. Okay, so invest in your charitable act financially, my nigga. I'd rather the state take all of my guns. Bro, I don't get it. Why are you willing to still help me in my presidential candidacy, but not support me financially? Did you forget what I told you a few months ago? Flashback. All right. You guys are freed. You, you couldn't have said, like, anything else? Like, oh, you guys are free to go home, or you can go home now? I'm just saying. Slave master runs in your blood, dog. Put those accusations in another position, because you're missing. Now leave before I change my mind. Also, I'll be around to collect the rest of the money you owe me. At the potential expense of my own life, uh, why are you letting us live? Because I still see potential. In your ability to win the presidency. It's a good thing you're not a scouting agent for any sports teams or anything like that. But if you were, you'd fit right in with the management team of the Houston Rockets. You're pushing your luck more than somebody who stepped on a four-leaf clover. And I got more of a point than a hollow point bullet. And? Hollow points aren't even pointy, monkey nuts. Then why is it called hollow point? Because it's a misnomer. What? I thought it was a hollow point bullet. It's not a mental illness that you have. It's a mental escape. As in your brain escaped the confines of that skull. Completely disregarding this enigma of a nigga. Since you're still supporting my candidacy, does that mean that you're supporting me financially? No. I told you I'm done with that. I'm only supporting your candidacy because of the notoriety the two of you have managed to amass. Uh, Zakar, I didn't understand that, so can, can you translate that to regular nigga English? Regular nigga English. Bitch, I gotta translate that to slow nigga knees. He said he's only supporting us because a lot of the dumb shit that we did in the past year got us a little bit of fame. Oh, you mean like when I went on Family Feud and said- Yes. Like when you did that. God, man, come on. I, I, I'm still kind of homophobic and I don't even say that. End of flashback. Damn, you got great memory. It's one of the things I'm blessed to keep at the age of 54. Woo! You old bitch. You 54? Matter of fact, tell me, did you know Judas was going to betray Jesus before it happened? Did you know that I snuck a gun with your name on it into this facility? Did you know that it's gay to have another man's name engraved in your gun? Did you... Wait, I think they're starting. Welcome our esteemed audience. We're happy that you chose to watch the first half of the Democratic debate today. Our candidates today are... Sakar, Jason's boyfriend. Peter Ludlow, and last but not least, Bone Jiden. And your host for tonight is Gibson Tipper. Hey, who put that dirty bubble bobblehead ass bitch up there? I pulled some strings by telling them that he was a Make-A-Wish kid. Were you pulling Pinocchio strings? Cause like, I refuse to believe that somebody with their own free will looked at that bald headed ass nigga with a full beard and thought, yeah, that's a child in need. He's in need of intelligence, is he not? Eh, you got me there. But why him? You could have asked anybody else. Because we need somebody who's going to work in your favor. In my favor? You could have easily had Kendrick Lamar up there thinking that I was Drake, and I'd still have a better chance at winning this shit. Sometimes you just got to believe in your friends. I'd rather believe in the Tooth Fairy. Five minutes later. The first question of the debate is... What is your tax plan? I've already said it once, but I'm going to say it again. To taxes, I'm going to say vamos, and I'm going to kick them in a caboose. And anyone talking loose can talk to my deuce deuce. Did you sneak a gun in here too? 
Yeah, but they don't know that. So it sounds like a cool metaphor. That little nigga's voice is a pleasant reminder to the deaf. Jason said, if no one is paying taxes, then how do people like him get help? Being eye to eye with a gnome is not a national problem. Actually, his disability is that he can't speak English. My nigga, since when has it been a disability to not be able to read Rosetta Stone? I don't think you understand. He's nah, I understand. That motherfucker illiterate. That's rich coming from you. It can't be that rich coming from him. Talk again and they gonna have to put me on the FBI's most wanted. Anyway, Jason would like to increase the amount of taxes that everyone pays. He will then use those tax funds to help other disabled people. Huh. I can't reasonably hate on that, so I'ma hate on it unreasonably. That shit dumb as fuck. But he'd also like to make everyone else disabled in order to equal the playing field, as he put it. Alright, I now have a reason. That has to be criminal in all 50 states. I should know. I worked in criminal justice. Really? What did you work as specifically? I was the criminal. Zakar, that is self-sabotage. No, 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 no. The American people like honesty, so I'm going to give them honesty. You know what happened to the last president that was known for being honest? No. He had his brains blown out. Bro, as long as I don't go watch any plays, I'm good. Now stop trying to impede progress. <sighs> My tax proposal is that we stop taxing the rich and tax anybody who makes under 90k 100% sane, but as an added bonus, we stop paying the people in that tax bracket sane. Wait, what? If, if, if they're not even making any money, how the fuck they gonna pay their taxes? Skin and bones? That's none of my concern, see? My concern is that the people work for their love of America, see? Nigga, please name one bootlicking bitch that will work for America for some hugs and kisses. I personally don't see the problem, because people were willing to do it 200 years ago, see? That shit was slavery, dog. You're allowed to give it whatever cute pet name you want, see? I honestly don't care. The fact of the matter is, it happened. Shane. Moments later. Why? Why what? Just why? Why are you still up there, nigga? I believe he's asking questions for the unsure voter. Not really sure of what they want to ask, see? Do not validate his stupidity. That's like giving the Hennessy to an alcoholic. So what you're saying is that the average voter is stupid and an alcoholic. I got you, see? I never said that. You cooking up a cacophony of cow shit. Nah, I agree with him. You don't fuck with the average voter. I'm not fucking with you! A few moments later. You're looking kind of bad out there. That's kind of gay, but thanks. I meant bad in a negative way. Oh, do you have any ideas? I thought I'd hop on the middle of the stage and do a backflip. Do you have any good ideas? Bitch, I thought it was good. But I got this one that politicians usually use to get people to vote for shit that they really wouldn't vote for otherwise. Is it a fucking genie in a bottle? No, 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 no. Trust, trust. Watch. Just watch me. What do you think about the war on drugs? My opinion is, why are we wasting tax dollars on some stupid shit like that? I ain't never seen a blunt holding a gat. Stop bullshitting. Oh, shit, my fault. I really think that we need to criminalize all drugs. But why? I seen you smoking eighth a few days ago. Hey, yo, quit snitching before you end up missing. But my thought process is, we need to get drugs off the streets so that we can protect the kids. Like, when it comes to anything important, or really just anything, I'm always thinking of the children. So even when you're indulging in inappropriate things, you're still thinking of the children, Shane. Yo, get up on my mouth, dog, before you get bit. Is interpretation not in the eyes of the beholder, Shane? <laughs> what the hell was that? Did you just shoot him with a Kamehameha? Hey, first off, don't ever compare me to no Dragon Ball Z character. I put that bitch nigga Goku in the dirt. Second of all, I didn't shoot or hit him with anything. Because to say that I did shoot him implies that I intended on him being shot. Was it not your intention to shoot him, monkey nut? Really? That's a matter of perspective. Because the moment that the ball was released from my clutches, everything else was out of my control. And at that point... Thankfully, the ball of energy made the conscious decision to go and attack him. So essentially, you shot me with a bomb, see? That is your perspective, and I personally think that you are dumb as fuck for having it. Zakar, I'm here to put you in chains.
Why, though? I, I, I didn't even do anything. For the attempted murder of Peter Ludlow. Hey, man, as I said, it's a matter of perspective. But even if I did do it, I have grown as a person and I no longer associate with that version of me that did that thing. Assuming I actually did that thing that you are saying that I did. How much growth could you have possibly gone through in the past one minute? Since I got that dog in me, it might have seemed like a minute, but it was really a year in dog years. He said that the dog in you is a bitch. I will punt that little nigga into the stratosphere. Bro, quit with the bullshit. Nigga, are you with me or against me? I am with whatever is not with you. Bitch ain't got a lick of loyalty in his bones. No loyalty? I'm loyal to your ops. Zakar, you will be showing loyalty to these handcuffs. Unless, of course, the host says otherwise. Wait, I, I, I have the ability to send this nigga to jail right now? No, you don't! That is correct. You are the host of this debate, and so you therefore have almost unlimited power. This gotta be the United States of fuckery, allowing some shit like this. Huh. Okay, uh... I think that... We should... Spit it out, Obama! Not send him to jail. Excuse me? Shane, is your head full of cobwebs? He just bombed me on live TV, Shane. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling nice. I feel like your mom used a popped condom, Shane. Thank you, Gibson. I appreciate that. Hey, bro, no problem. You're still a bitch and a fraud, though. What the fuck are you talking about? Because if it was me in your position, I would have been reserved a spot for you in prison. I would have called up 12 myself. You gotta stand your ground on his hate and shit, or else you a bitch. He does have a point. Yeah, I, I also agree. Bye, 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 bye. Even though I'm a victim of the shooting, Shane, I still think that you're a bitch in the most unbiased way possible, Shane. Is that really how everybody feels? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, out. Even you, Bo Jiden? I think America is fine and we need another four years of me. Why didn't you just shoot him? I personally can deal with the FBI. But a certain someone can't. Later that same evening. Zakar, look at these popularity polls. See, I told you this shit would work from the start, but you doubted me. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying it, but that was both unorthodox and smart of you. Also, if shooting somebody is what could possibly get somebody elected in America, well, I'm proud to be an American. Oh, the shooting part was completely faulty impulse control. Now, my actual plan was to get the children's sympathy vote. Let me get this straight. Uh-huh. You threw a Hail Mary by complete accident yeah. on a fourth down. Correct. When you had meant to punt the ball? Yeah. Just end the episode. I, I, I don't have any words. Hey, I keep telling y'all, breaking the fourth wall is my... Hey, it's kind of cold out here. But as I was saying... Breaking the fourth wall is my job.